Hi guys, it is Samantha Vingers here from AIMC Business Solutions and we are road tripping all the way back from Pennsylvania on the way to Connecticut and then to Boston. So here we are. We are at a random beautiful place, found some great greenery behind me and today we are going to be talking about failed social media sites right so as you guys have grown up as you guys have gone through life you have seen tons and tons of different social media sites that have come become really popular and they have failed and there are tons and tons and tons of reasons why they have failed whether or not they have been able to keep up with the trends add new features keep up with the changing times directions new capabilities and technology whether or not it was a board decision so we're going to talk about a few of the failed social media sites the first one is yik yak it was super popular because you could post things online and it was anonymous but it turned into something very bad because people in high school and college were posting things secret because it had anonymity and it turned out really bad for bullying. At first, people were enthralled. They loved the idea of posting things anonymously, not having your name attached, but it turned harsh and turned into bullying and bad things, which ultimately led to its downfall. It got called out by schools and institutions for creating a bad effect on mental health. All right, the next one is Google Plus, and I actually used this in either middle school or early high school. Google Plus was a way to share and connect with your friends. We used it for a little bit, but it ultimately failed out because it wasn't offering anything new that other sites were already giving, and it wasn't updating features. You could talk to your friends, you could chat with your friends, you could video call them, but ultimately, it became unpopular because it wasn't offering anything and new social media sites were popping up. And then let's talk about a fan favorite here, MySpace. So My, uh, MySpace had originally lost 10 million people, 10 million users in just one month because it shared, it connects people with new friends across the world, with your friends from your town and People really liked that it. it was a social network that you could connect and talk to people. But they made a decision to switch their content, who they are and what they did and what they offered. They switched from personal and then to music, which a lot of people ultimately were not too happy about. Uh, so it lost a ton of its users because it changed what made it special. And it was highly popular at a time until they switched from personal to music. Let's also talk about Tumblr. I love the discussion on Tumblr because you saw how quickly, yet again, like MySpace, if you change up who you are, what you're able to do, you can pivot and grow as a social media site. But if you change who you are and the reason why people use your site and adore you, it turns out bad. So with Tumblr, they introduced content safety and Tumblr was known for being able to post raunchy photos or videos and people loved that freedom that the site offered, but they had problems with their advertisers who were being able to use the site. So they started adding content safety and ultimately it led to its downfall of its popularity. It kind of happened with weird topic, but only fans, they were going to switch to getting rid of the sex work. So people were like, if you do that, you are going to lose OnlyFans and all of the people who buy and use and make content. It was going to fail until they made the smart decision to keep what they were going to do and to keep that kind of content running. Another one that I have seen come and go is Vine. I really liked Vine. They were short, like seven second clips. They were funny, they were comedic, they were informative. You could post all these kinds of content. But the reason that it failed was it was owned by Twitter and Twitter wasn't really doing well at the time that Vine was winding down. And also things were being other social media sites like Snapchat was being introduced at the time. So people switched that service. So if we take a look at all of these different examples, you can see that people are leaving because you need to stay updated with people what people want. You need to stay, add new features. You need to continue to build on what you are known for and what makes you special. Another reason they failed is because they switched who they are and what they offered and what why people really loved going to them. And also it can happen a lot of times from decisions of board members and what they do and those decisions like 
Tumblr and OnlyFans, it can honestly cause those problems. So if you take a look, just like your LinkedIn, all of your social medias, you need to continuously update, continuously update your resume, your social media, because if you don't, you're going to lose out your people. If you're not posting content, if you're not liking and engaging, yet again, just like failed social media sites, your brand or your personal following can also falter as well. If you guys have any more questions about why these social media sites failed, you can contact me or Jeff DeSocio at AAMC Business Solutions. Happy Friday, guys.